good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets on Monday's trading session, the 10th of April 2017. A midday market update for European indices. Now, let's actually look at the stats here. First of all, uh, Asian markets overnight, a mixed signal again. You have the Nikkei higher 0.7%, whilst the Hang Seng and the Shanghai both down. Uh, certainly, the Shanghai down 0.5%. In terms of economic data out overnight, nothing really major market moving other than the money supply in China really was more or less non-existent. Okay, Mr. Kuroda, nothing really of any merit in terms of market moving. Okay, uh, this morning in terms of co commodities, we certainly have the price of oil moving higher on geopolitical tensions, which was more or less expected. Copper certainly under pressure and gold certainly well bid as well on the back of geopolitical uncertainty. Uh, in terms of the markets, yes, uh, geopolitical certainty is front and centre with the uh, situation in Syria and North Korea certainly on the horizon and the uncertainty going forward with regards to that. Uh, Russia uh, states that they've broken down the lines of communication now uh, and again that certainly is risk negative. You've got the Iranians and the, uh, and the Syrians and the Russians all aligning together. Also with regards to France, we have the uncertainty regarding the, the election with Mr Malenkon certainly uh, exceeding Mr. Phylon uh, and again Le Pen rating certainly uh, remains stagnant uh, and certainly she uh, remains uh, has a firm hold but there certainly are now uh, a, it's a four-way race as opposed to a three-way race so again creates the uncertainty there. Uh, we still have the ongoing concerns with regards to the FOMC minutes last week stating that US equities remain over bought so again valuation concerns there will keep US equities at bay. Uh, Mr. Dudley certainly uh, singing or tr uh, certainly uh, sh shall we say blowing the hawkish trumpet overnight, uh, claiming that uh, although Mr. Bullard did state was a more ho a dovish individual, Mr. Dudley really is the voting member, and therefore his focus on the fact that uh, uh, tapering will not slow down the pace of rate hikes uh, isn't good news at all. UK visa spending certainly slows as well, so again uh, negative. Barclays down one percent on the potential. Unmasking of the whistleblower again, the CEO certainly under fire there. Italian industrial production certainly low, and we've just had the World Trade Organization, the IMF, and the World Bank all state that uh, uh, trade barriers, trade tariffs, protectionism, etc., is all going to forecast weaker growth going forward. Chinese growth also subdued as well, certainly forecast to be lower. ECB's merge certainly indicating a hawkish uh, stance, and again, stating that QE will not last forever. So it certainly seems that they're sending out the trial balloons there to psychologically prep the markets for the lack of QE. European Finmin missed growth targets, so Europe is expected to miss growth targets as well. I mean, Trump tax concerns for Mr. Ryan, US jobs data week last week. I mean, there's a barrage of uh, bearish economic data but or uh, economic news, but the market certainly chooses to ignore. Okay, so uh, we're back to square one, folks. Okay, we're back to square one. So the market certainly isn't concerned at all especially European indices keeping afloat. But having said that, it certainly seems like there are a lot of bearish patterns certainly emerging, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so let's start off with the German DAX. As I've stated, until we hold that double top, uh, bias remains bearish from my book. Uh, in my book, and again, look for bearish sell, steady chart. Consolidation here, trading sideways, 60 minute chart. You can see we've rejected that 12,380. Okay, ever since we've rejected 12,380, market's certainly under pressure. Uh, German DAX here. Uh, let's just quickly move over to a 60 minute chart. Okay, so 12,380 really is your pivot high. You have resistance at 12,290, resistance at 12,240, uh, which we've held thus far. Okay, we have this key diagonal trend line certainly coming into play and holding thus far. As soon as we break that, you are looking at bearish bias. 10 minute chart, we've certainly bounced off that pivot low there. Okay, so again, certainly needs to be respected. And we'll see exactly how the German DAX reacts now. Again, you have resistance at 12, 240, currently at 12, 210. Okay, so watch out for 12, 240 resistance. If you go above that, you have 12, 290. If you go below, we have 12, 150, and then we have 12, 120 acting as support okay in terms of the french cac let's just look at the french cac here folks steady chart at present you have an inside bar on the french cac so again something certainly to be observed and respected 
60 minute chart you have a double top on the french cac again 5 130 is your key given the fact that it's a four-way race now with mr melancon certainly gaining ground as well is certainly risk negative so bear that in mind folks okay 10 minute chart the french cac you are now looking at potential hns formation you have gap fill at 5135 bear that in mind okay and you are carving out this potential right shoulder so again focus on this bearish pan in terms of the FTSE 100 let's have a look here now the daily chart remains the hns formation bear flag okay so again looking for right shoulder looking to move lower 60 minute chart certainly has hit a wall of resistance wall of resistance around this region here at 7355 7360 so that certainly needs to be respected okay in terms of the FTSE 100 itself especially given the fact that uh, uh, actual uh, retail sales and uh, UK spending certainly on the slowdown and the fact that we did get weaker economic data on Friday as well from the UK so again it certainly seems to be that the uh, Brexit effect certainly is kicking in now okay and again it's going to be risk negative okay so we are looking at lower highs here ideally you'd like to retouch that 7320 zone on, on the downside so therefore look for further weakness on the FTSE 100 from my interpretation and my perspective okay in terms of the european your euro stock shall we say let's just quickly bring up the euro stocks in the moment from my understanding daily chart remains a bear flag so by it certainly remains bearish from that perspective but european equity is certainly holding their ground you have resistance here at 3493 and then resistance at 3510 as well so watch out for that uh, key resistance on the 60 minute chart 10 minute chart at the moment bouncing off that pivot support and again it certainly seems to be carving out a hns formation this is your h and s formation on the uh, euro stocks too so it certainly seems like we are look, moving into bearish territory it'll be interesting to see how us markets react in the afternoon on that note, please be sure to uh, be also bear in mind you have Miss Yellen speaking. Okay, so again, market moving, so focus on that around 8 p.m. UK time. Uh, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and, and uh, certainly download the latest trading app. Goodbye.